Get it turned. Get your shoulders turned. Okay? Get your shoulders turned. That's your yeah, that's your sight. That front shoulder is your sight to the target. Okay, go. Good. All right, not bad. Watch where you start your foot, right? On that one, you started that foot back here. That's whatever, an extra eight inches of drag in order to get turned around. Get that foot dragging right here. So all you gotta do is touch that piece right there. That's it, he's out. Okay, you don't have to drag it all the way across. Get on that back corner, go. Look where your foot is. Yeah, that, that much counts, right? Bang, bang, boom, good. All right, now, okay, that's the general one. That's the easy one with the perfect toss from the second baseman. Okay, that's the routine bag. Now, you get a tough one. You get a tough one where the, where the second baseman, maybe he bobbles the ball. Maybe he gets the ground ball up in here, kind of in the baseline. Base runner's already on top of him, okay? Now, we're gonna teach, I wanna teach him. Have you ever done the inside? Okay. Now, you can teach these guys again, age appropriate, okay? You got some older kids that might understand it, maybe even some 14 year olds that might understand it. You're gonna use the inside part of the base. So we always talk about going here. Now, age appropriate, if they can handle, boom, pop to the inside. Okay, so now you're touching it with your left foot. Left foot, corner, catch, boom, and it's gone, okay? Here we go, get there, get there, boom. Yep, now it doesn't have to be a big pop, right? Doesn't have to be big. You don't have to get out of the way of anybody anymore. Just be quick with your feet. Good. Turn. Turn that front shoulder, right? You don't want to throw throw with an open shoulder. Right? Boom. Turn it. Turn that front shoulder. Go. There you go. Alright. So that's your two general turns. That's your two general turns. Come on down here, I'll give you some feeds. Where am I at, Teach? Am I good? Alright. So let's talk about, let's talk about real quick. Let's talk about the three areas when you're turning double plays from shortstop. Am I chasing you down? That's more like it. Those mini fields kind of got my my distance is off. Back up. Back up. Over here a little. All right. So this first third right there, that's your normal ground ball. That would be your normal ground ball. Okay. Boom. You can take it, drop a knee. Boom. Drop a knee. Give your feet. Whatever it may be. If the ball is taking him towards second base, okay, that's when you're going to get the underhand flip. Okay. The ball takes him on the other side of the cone. He gets in here. That's when he's going to use his feet to set up a set up a backhand. And you can either you can either boom boom, okay, or some kids just turn and come over the top. Here's the key to the feeds. The throws have got to be either flat or on the way up to the second baseman. Okay, you don't want the throws going down at their feet. It's tough to turn a double play down in here. So when those throws are going here. So some kids, according to their arm angles, are gonna have a tough time getting that ball to go flat or on the way up because they're so over the top. Here's where you can let them experience. We always talk about don't throw sidearm, okay? I'm a big advocate of it too. I don't let my kids throw sidearm, but when it comes to turning a double play and it's a flip, if there's a kid that can't get the ball to go flat or, or on the way up, I'll take his arm angle and I'll let him drop that arm angle down so that he's getting here and they can get that ball in the right angle so the guy can turn a double play. You go to the base. All right, that's open, that's cheating. Drop the other leg, right? So that one you kind of just boom with the ball right at you. Just take it, right? So if I open up here, right? Now I take a chance of sailing that thing off. The only time I'm gonna open up is when I'm closed off and now I kind of open up so I can see the base on the back end, all right? Right here, this one's gonna be normal. You're just gonna take this knee right here, okay? Your right knee, boom, okay? There you go, good. Back up, you're gonna have a better angle than that in a game, yeah. There you go. Good, that works. 
All right, going towards the base. Good. Lefty, you look pretty good over there. Towards the base. Good. Good. Good feed too. All right. So here's where here's where some of the uh, we talk about kind of having the gray areas on fielding. We talk about feed field uh, feed field funnel, right? So now we're trying to turn a double play. So if the K if if the player is at the ability where he doesn't have to worry about a funnel so much, that's where we can eliminate one F. We can eliminate that F. So now it's field and get rid of the ball instead of field funnel and then go. Because sometimes what happens is you get that child that they'll field and funnel and then they'll actually want to shuffle and then give the ball. So let's give him the base runners a couple extra steps to get down the baseline. He does a good job of it. All right, let's go back in. I'll take that. Stay a little bit lower with your bump. I'll take that. That was pretty good though. I'll take that. Good. All right. Take your hand when you when you deliver. When you deliver, you're taking you're taking your fingers, fingertips right to that one on the on the T12. There you go. Good. Okay. All right. Any questions on that? Any questions on the double play feeds, turns? All right. Let's go over to second base. Flip flop. Second base is a little bit more difficult. You're doing things backwards. If I need to put the cones out there, you guys kind of understand the three the three sections? Okay. Second base feeds. Okay, we're going to go to feeds again. All right. Right at him. Right at him. A couple things they can do when the ball's right at him. Now they can take that left knee. They can buckle that left knee. Boom, and deliver. They can do a little jump turn. Deliver. Okay. Some kids, some kids if they're good enough, you can teach them to get their feet around the other way. Boom, and deliver. I'm going to see what he does. I'll take that. I'll take that in any game. Not bad. All right. This one, I want you to create the angle. So come, 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 come around this side and go ahead and give the backhand shuffle. Perfect. There you go. No, not quite. Not quite. Oh, that's okay. You did, you did the feet right, but you don't have to. So what I'm, getting, what I'm trying to get him to do again is use his feet to set up the ground ball. It's a routine ground ball. It's a routine ground ball right at me. What I'm doing is I'm setting up the angle. Boom, I'm here. Boom. And now I'm coming through the ball. See how it worked that one? You try it. Hey, what's been the theme so far of infielding? Feet. It's a beautiful thing, right? I'm trying to use something we don't even catch the ball with. It sets up the ground ball. Every time, there you go. Just create the momentum. Sorry, just get you a better grip. Use your feet. Good. All right, again, going towards the base, you're gonna use the flip. Yep, you can go underhand or that way. There you go, that's nice. See how he turned his hand over on that one? Turn his hand over, open the ball up. Give him a nice feed so he can see it. Here's a kicker on some of this stuff too, is pay attention to the, to the glove. Okay, so he's done it really good. I haven't had to say anything about it. But make sure that that glove is out of the way so whoever's receiving the ball can see the throw. Sometimes you get kids, they get in here, but they leave the glove out and deliver the ball from underneath, and it'll shield that guy's eyes for a minute. So when they get here, boom, get the glove out of the way and field the ball. Okay? All right, let's, I'm going to test you. I'm going to go here now. Let me see what you do. All right, I'll take it. Good job. Kept, kept good control of your body right there. Now, same thing, okay? You're going this way. If you reach with two hands, that's going to limit your reach. Use one hand. Get the throwing hand out of it. Use one hand. Get the full reach, and then you can come, okay? There you go. And keep control of your body. You're still walking back that way. I know I'm being picky, but... All right, so this one, it's okay. You're doing, you're, you're doing okay. So this one, I'm going to go same same spot, a little softer. So you're not going to be able, you're going to have to come get it. All right, I want to see what you do. Okay, so where's the throw right there, though? It's kind of in the line of, of the thing, right? So what I want you to do is let that ball come a little bit more. Now, instead of getting here and kind of being a little more out of control, 
let that ball come a little bit more, take it one hand out in front, boom, and come through it. There you go, that works. A little easier to control your body right there, right? You're not out of control. Yeah, that works. All right, so that's just three general, three general feeds, okay?